So I just bought the domain rooferdesignagency.com and I'm going to explain why. So first thing first, in SEMrush, if we go and check roofing design agency, you see zero. But this is not true. And it says because with my clients, there are a lot of keywords that are saying zero. But I know for a fact, they are getting at least 30 visits organic from Google. So this is not necessarily true. The keyword is being searched for uh, on Google, but it's just saying zero. But I'd say <coughs> around 20, 30 out of those, maybe 10 people would click if you're on the first page out of those. They are very high intent, so they are looking to buy. So the conversion rate is kind of kind of high. Anyway, now it's, it doesn't work like before for exact name match domain. So basically having this year roofer design agency and then just because your name is roofing design agency, then you're going to appear on the first page. It doesn't work like that anymore. But if it's a real business, then now it's a different story. And this is going to become a real business. And the acronym for that is going to be RDA. So it's quite brandable. I thought about it. Also, one reason that I, why I didn't pick Roofer Web Design Agency or Roofing Web Design Agency, first of all, too long. Second of all, if I add web design, so I have add web, then this only put me into web design. But I do want to offer branding as well. So anything logo, marketing, uh, brand identity as a whole. So yeah, in the future, I can offer that. And SEO is just included into it. So design agency is basically broader term that can pick on everything else. So if someone is looking for, let's say, roofer web design agency, just because of those keyword here, it's going to appear as well. And we can see here on Google, if we do roofer design agency, we have this one here, blacksmith marketing, roofing marketing.com, who is on the first page of Google, which is kind of good to, to be fair. I mean, I don't like the design, yes, but uh, great copy, great objections handling. And he had great case studies as well. We also have roofermarketers.com. But thing is, those are American businesses. And I know that this this is in Canada. So I'm going to have also the dom .ca domain. And I'm going to have those leads as well. Anyway, long story short, <laughs> I'm going to build a website for the new agency. And it's going to rank on Google, let's say, anywhere from month two up to three. Kind of start seeing some great results. But it's going to be super, super, super simple. And I have a great example for you. So this is from Paid Design. So I'm going to link this on the description alongside with his YouTube channel because he just released a course. I didn't take it, so I cannot really endorse it or say it's good whatsoever, but his content is very good. And uh, I love what he's doing. Although he did basically the same thing, kind of similar. He created a new business, and he's going to showcase his model, which is all about a solo blueprint design agency, something like that. And it's all about selling small websites for $3,000 per but. Uh, the quantity is, is kind of quite higher and it's all about making them faster and cheaper. So this is the positioning, basically affordable websites for pest controls, startups. He says premium and then here affordable, which is kind of, I would say, uh, counterintuitive in a sense. Something could be affordable and premium, but those two terms don't really match and work together in my honest opinion but anyway still i would say great copy great design as expected and very simple as you can see step one two three four blah 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 why us recent work 
client review, which I don't have yet, and FAQ. This this is it. But I'm going to add some SEO optimized content so I can rank on Google. FAQ is the best way to use those to rank on Google, by the way. And also the footer. I don't know why he doesn't have a footer, but let's say the footer where he's saying best bet is a website design marketing agency located in, and then you have the, uh, the location. For instance, me is going to be, let's say, in Montreal or in Toronto, whatever that might be. And uh, yeah, I'm going to just abuse it. <laughs> I'm just going to abuse it. Something that could work also is, let's say I would say, Roofer, what's the domain? Okay, Roofer Design Agency offers website design to businesses located in. And then I just start seeing everywhere that I want to work with. So for instance, Toronto, Vancouver, uh, what else? Alberta, Montreal, or Quebec as a whole. But Quebec is more like French than English, so that won't really be good to me but anyway this is how i would do it in the future with that being said uh, this is pretty much it for this video and uh, as it's going for the challenge we are at about 60 redesign i got a lot of not interested so <laughs> i'm gonna start seeing it. but anyway the more no's I get and the better it is because I know the more no's I get and the more closer I am to the yes. So I'm not quitting never ever until I get a client in the roofing industry. Also, another point, uh, I've been getting this feedback a lot about my mic, but let me tell you something, guys. I'm not investing a penny in a new mic unless or just until... I get a client with this challenge. I don't want to mix up my agency, I'd say money that I already have, the mitzvah niche, and the roofing uh, industry with this challenge. Um, I want to grind from zero, really as a newbie. And this is what I'm doing. I'm not, you know, I'm not saying in my marketing to the, um, roofing industry that i already have another web design agency who already got results whatsoever and to be fair this could help me land clients faster than ever but it's just going to deteriorate my message with this because my goal is to show you as a beginner you'll be able to do it me going and saying oh i already have results is just against my purpose here so yeah just be patient and patient stay patient with me i'll get a new mic and i'll get a client that's for sure i'll see you tomorrow